Today we are doing something simple, getting the instance name in PowerShell through AWS. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show. And often when I'm doing scripts, most likely when I'm creating you know, CloudWatch alarms, I don't want it to be the name of that CloudWatch alarm to be the instance ID because I may have no idea what that is. So, and then when that alarm is sent, if the alarm says instance ID is offline or instance ID has this problem, the tech or whoever the support person that's getting that alert will have no idea what it is. If this is, you know, uh, main, you know, application server one in Ohio, in some abbreviation, dash, you know, whatever the outage is, you know, network is out or CPU peaked or something like that, then that tells, oh, that means I know exactly where to go. I know where that is. You know, those descriptions can, you know, be added to. But when you go to uh, AWS and you go, get me my instances, it doesn't give you the names. So let's look at what's going on. So we have, I've got a box here I've already connected to AWS. And we do something like get EC2 instance. Okay, that comes back with this. Uh, there's no instance name. There's a parameter in there. There's a group in there called uh, instances. So, okay, well, we can look at that. Okay, we'll put some parentheses around here, do a dot, and say instances. Okay, there we go. Well, that gets me my instance ID. And nowhere in that data is the name of the server. So, how do I get that? Well, if we expand this, so that basically displays it in FT format table. But if we do FL, which is format list, that gets us a different list. So here's a lot more pieces uh, to what that brings back. Um, and down here towards the bottom, you can see there's these variables called tag. And one of those tags is name. So that's what we want. We want to get to the name. So if I put some more parentheses around here, and I go out here and I go dot tag. Then it's going to bring me back the the tags that are in that. So we're breaking down. We're now from the EC2 instance uh, data set. We're now into the instances data set, and then we're now we're down into the tag data set. So we're we're breaking this down. We're multiple layers down inside this of AWS here. So. Now I've got two tags here. One is for billing that shows up on my billing report. And one is the name of the instance. Well, how? I want just the name. And I don't want just the, the name. I want the values. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that text. You know, this one is server test123. And I'm going to take that and say, after that, add another name onto the end of it, like dash. CPU peaked or dash uh, disk space low, something like that. So we'll know instantly, okay, test one, two, three has disk space low, and that's going to be the name of the alarm. That's going to be the name of the email message that gets sent out. So all those things are in, in sync. So if you have to jump into AWS, you can just go there, type the server name, test one, two, three, and then it, the, that will show up right in the list. So how do we get that? Where are we going? Okay, well now we need to do some selecting. Where object, no, this is not, yes, where object filter script, here we go. Okay, so then the percent underscore is the current object that we're using. And we want key. So we want the key that's there at the front to be equal to name. Oops. Name. Okay, so now that gets me. So if I just run this, okay, this is the next step. That's going to get me the name value. Okay, well, now I just want the actual value only. So how do we, where do we go on from here? Okay, so we add another set of parentheses to the front and back, and then we put a dot and put 
value. That's actually off the screen, but it'll be down below. So I'll drag this over a little bit. So we get key and then value. See where over there, that's value way on the end of the screen there. So we're typing, getting all that out. This command will be down in the, in the description of the video. Okay. So now if we get that typed in, hit enter, that only returns the actual name of the instance. So let's say I want to set that to a value. So I'm going to say inst name. So the instance name is that. So now if I have instance name, you know, that's test one, two, three. Now if I'm creating an alarm, so alarm equals instance name plus something like CPU peaked like that, then my alarm name is something like that. You can add, I should probably have added another dash in here. There we go. So now my alarm name is test one, two, three CPU peaked. So when that comes through, everybody knows what it is. It's not some crazy, you know, instance ID. Now, this is doing this for all the instances in there. I only have to have one instance here. So in my query here, to get one individual instance, I would need to put instance ID and then the whatever the instance ID is for that instance. And that will bring back that individual name. But the rest of the function is the same. And that will bring back that one value for the instance name. So, okay. And there you go. That's how to get the name of an instance in AWS using PowerShell. Highly critical for setting alarms and all that, just like I've said. And uh, there's more to come. All right. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, all the fun YouTube things. Thanks for watching. Thank you.